out soon, so I thought I'd tidy up the yard a little first. In fact, I have to go right now. Bye! Morning, everyone. I see Bob's left early again. That's every morning this week. I wonder where he's going. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Salsa, senor. That's it, Bob. All our lessons have done the trick. You're living la vida loca. You're dancing. Ow! Oh, I'm really sorry, Mrs. Percival. Oh, I don't mean to keep stepping on your toes. Uh, that's all right, Bob. Let's just take a break. It does seem to be turning into a very hot day. I've never been a good dancer, Mrs. Percival. That's why I need lessons. I want to impress everyone at the dance tonight, but I don't think I will. Of course you will, Bob. You just need to practice. Let's try it one more time. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Percival. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hello, Bob. Mr. Bentley here. Could you come over to the town hall right away? Of course I can, Mr. Bentley. I'll be right over. Uh, Mr. Bentley needs me. Don't you worry, Bob. You can come for a last lesson after school. Thanks, Mrs. Percival. See you later. Morning, Mr. Bentley. Oh, morning, Wendy. Morning, Bob. You're out early again. Oh, was I? Oh, yes, I, I suppose I was. So, Mr. Bentley, what can we do for you? Well, Bob, it's about tonight's dance. Tonight's dance? I hope everything's all right. I've been practicing really hard. Ha, 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 ha. I mean, everyone's really looking forward to it. Oh, don't worry, Bob. It's still going ahead, but not in the town hall. Because it's such a hot day, I've decided to hold the dance outside. Oh. Farmer Pickles has said we can use his field, uh, but that means we'll need an outdoor dance floor. A dance floor? And lights. Lights? And tables and chairs for when people want to rest. Well, it sounds like a very big job to get done in just one day. I know, Wendy, but you see the town hall is too hot and stuffy. We'd have to cancel the dance. Oh, no. That would be terrible. Don't you worry, Mr. Bentley. We'll get everything ready in time. Wendy, can you go back to the yard and get Lofty, Dizzy, and Rolly? So, you see, JJ, we need all the lumber you can spare. Oh, we had a delivery yesterday. I think there's just enough for what you need. Oh, could you deliver it to Farmer Pickles' field, please? I have to go and see Mr. Sabatini. No problem, Bob. Trix can take it over, can't you, Trix? Oh, yeah. That's easy. I'm also going to need some lights and a generator. Leave it to me. You can pick them up later. Thanks, JJ. See you in a little while. 
So you see, Mr. Sabatini, we'd like to borrow as many tables and chairs as possible. You can uh, have them all, Bob. I'm uh, gonna close up my restaurant tonight, cause I'm uh, gonna be at the dance. I love the dancing. Thanks, Mr. Sabatini. Scoop and Muck will pick them up later. Bye. I'll see you later. Cha-cha-cha. Hi, Wendy. I have your word. Oh, thanks, Trix. Could you put it over there, please? Hi, Trix. Hey there, Dizzy. Isn't it exciting about the dance? Oh, yes. I love dancing. What's your favorite dance? My favorite? Um, oh, I, I don't know. I like salsa. Molly showed me how to do it. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. <laughs> I can do it! <laughs> Try it, Lofty. Try it, Rooly. It's brilliant! Oh, uh, I don't think I can. Of course you can, Lofty. Come on. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Oh, uh, one, uh, two, cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. <laughs> Hi, team. Well, look at you. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Dancing is brilliant. I know it is, Dizzy. We can all go dancing tonight. As long as we're finished in time, that is. Hi there, Bob. We're ready to start laying the dance floor. Oh, that's great, Wendy. If you and Lofty get started, I'll be with you in a minute. Scoop, can you and Muck go and pick up the lights from JJ, please? No prob, Bob. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Percival here. Um, it's Bob. I'm sorry, but I'm so busy that I might be late for my last dance lesson. Oh, well, that's all right, Bob. Why don't you come over to my house when you've finished? Thanks, Mrs. Percival. I really need one more lesson if I'm going to impress everyone tonight. All right, Bob. Bye. So, team, can we fix it? Yes, we can! Uh, yeah, I think so. That's it. The dance floor's finished. And the tables and chairs are set out. They are indeed. <laughs> Whew. Uh, I mean, check. Oh, I'll never get to Mrs. Percival's now. I'm sorry I didn't make my last lesson, Mrs. Percival. That's okay, Bob. You've learned all the steps. I'll see you at the dance. Okay, Mrs. Percival. Bye. Oh, gee, Pilchard. I hope I don't step on anyone's toes. <coughs> One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, whoa, whoa. Cha-cha-cha. <coughs> 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 Hello, everyone. Wow. Wendy, you look great. Oh, who are you going to dance with? Well, I... I thought I might ask Bob. Wow, look at that. Oh, hi, Wendy. Wow, you look great. Well, so do you, Bob. But I didn't realize you could dance like that. And it's all thanks to Mrs. Percival. She's been giving me lessons all week. I kept them a secret in case I wasn't any good. May I have the pleasure, Mrs. Percival? Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, Mr. Mr. Sabatini. This away, Signora. Oh, salsa! My favorite! Um, would you like to dance with me, Wendy? Oh, uh, Bob, I'd love to.
Good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Hey, is it time to get up? Wow, it's morning. Woohoo! What are we doing today? Well, we don't have any jobs, so I thought it'd be nice to go on a picnic. Whoa. A picnic? Great idea. Can we come too? Of course you can, Dizzy. Let's just quickly clean up the yard first. What are we yeah, waiting for? Yeah, come on. <laughs> Rock and roll! Hello, Bob's Building Yard. Wendy speaking. Wendy, oh, oh uh, thank goodness. Uh, th this is Mr. Ellis uh, from the museum. Uh, hello, Mr. Ellis. Uh, what's the matter? I've, I've, well, I've, uh, I've, I've had a little accident. Oh no. I'm afraid the picnic will have to wait. We have to do an urgent job at the museum. Oh, oh well, don't worry. Maybe if we finish the work quickly, we can go on a picnic later. Well, what are we waiting for? I'm not waiting for anything. I'm ready. Okay, we're gonna need plaster and some copper pipes and electric cables. Dizzy, you'll have to mix the plaster. Yippee! And Scoop, Muck, can you carry the pipes and cables? Yeah! No prob, Wendy. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Yeah, I think so. Oh, oh Bob, uh, uh, hurry, hurry, in here. The Bronze Age exhibition is supposed to open tomorrow, but it's a disaster. Don't worry, Mr. Ellis. We can fix it. I was trying to hang this shield on the wall here. And you drove a nail right through the hot water pipe. Yes, that's right, yes. And th then the lights went out. The water must have short-circuited the electricity in here. And it got all over the floor, too. Uh, <laughs> and uh, as for the plaster on the walls, well, look! Don't worry, Mr. Ellis. We'll take care of it all. Oh, thank you, Bob. I have your mail, Mr. Ellis. Oh, my, 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 my. What happened here? Mr. Ellis had a little accident. He banged a nail through a water pipe But and... we'll take care of everything. I have your mail, too, Bob. I might as well give it to you while I'm here. Bye. Oh, 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 sorry, Bob. Oh, that's okay, Mr. Ellis. No harm done. Oh, my. Oh, I better try this off. Oh, poor Mr. Ellis. <gasps> no! What's the matter, Bob? Bad news? Dear nephew, I will come visit you next Tuesday. I will arrive at your place at 4.30. See you soon. All my love, Aunt Dora. Oh, and Tuesday, that's today. It does say Dora, doesn't it? Uh, D-O-R and then a blot. It got wet on the floor. But it does look like Dora, yes. Oh, no, Aunt Dora. She likes everything to be really tidy. And the yard, well... I'll tell you what, Bob. I'll take care of the job here. You go back and clean up the yard. Oh, thanks, Wendy. take forever. What's up, Bob? Oh, it's just Aunt Dora's coming to visit. And if I don't get this place cleaned up by 4.30, she's going to be upset. Upset? Oh, no. We better get moving. Oh, I'd better start with a workshop. Have to get this. Oh, forget it. I'll never get this place cleaned up by 4.30. I'll tell you what, Bob. We'll clean up the yard. You go and get ready. How does that sound? Oh, thanks, Rolly. I'd better go and get my best suit back from the dry cleaners. There. The pipe is fixed. We can turn the water back on again. I wonder how Bob's doing at the yard. Hmm. Me too. We have to hurry. Aunt Dora will be here soon. Lofty, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking away the... Clean 
this up. Oh. Oh. oh, is there something wrong? We're cleaning up the yard for Bob. But I think we're just making it worse. Oh. Well, don't worry. It's just a little messy. We can clean it up quickly. You mean you'll help us? Of course I will. Rock and roll! <laughs> I'm a little earlier than I thought. I have plenty of time to help you. And there's nothing I like better than cleaning up. Here we go. It must be Aunt Dora. Oh, no. Good. I have just enough time to put on my best suit and get ready for Aunt Dora. New. Thank you so much for all your work. Now we'll be able to open tomorrow as planned. Oh, you're welcome, Mr. Ellis. Come on, Dizzy. We're done here. Okay, Wendy! Oh, my. I almost forgot my letters. Wendy, this letter is for Bob. I, oh. oh, well, I'll just have to take it there myself. Four o'clock. She'll be here in half an hour. I hope the gang has cleaned up the yard. Wow! Oh, fantastic! Good job, team. The place looks wonderful. Well, we did have a little help. From Aunt Dora. She's really nice. Aunt Dora? You mean she's here? Oh. Uh, does anybody know where I can find the teapot? But... That doesn't sound like Aunt Dora. Oh, hello there. I hope you don't mind. But uh, after all that clearing up, well, I wanted a cup of tea. It isn't. I mean, you aren't. You're not Aunt Dora. Wow, you've been busy, Bob. Hello, you must be Bob's Aunt Dora. No, dear. My name's not Dora. Bob, I think I picked up some of your mail by mistake. I, I... Oh, Auntie Doris, what are you doing here? Oh, Jeremy, you are a forgetful boy. I sent you a letter telling you I was coming. I suppose it slipped your mind. No, I... that is a... letter? Uh-oh, I think I might know where it is. It's not this one, is it? Yes, but how did you get it? I think our mail got mixed up at the museum. Sorry. Just a minute. If that letter was from Aunt Doris, then my Aunt Dora won't be coming. Phew! If I'd known you were coming, Auntie Doris, I would have gone shopping. I, I would have bought some cheesecake for us to eat. Oh, don't worry, Jeremy. I have an idea. We were planning to go on a picnic today. And since we finished all the work at the museum, there's still time for us to go. I have lots of food in the basket. Why don't you and... Uh, <clears throat> Jeremy, come with us. Yes. It's the least we can do after all the cleaning up that you've done. Oh, that would be fun, wouldn't it, Jeremy? It sure would. Great! Oh, we're going on a picnic! 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 Going on a picnic. <laughs> okay, Lefty. Can you pick up the cement? Uh, yeah, I think so, Wendy. And, Muck, this job is going to need the line marking machine. Um, what is the job today, Wendy? We're making a bicycle lane on one of the busy town roads, Dizzy. What's a bicycle lane, Wendy? It's a little path along the side of the road just for bicycles. Oh, a steamroller's allowed to go on it, Wendy. <laughs> I'm afraid not, Rolly. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Hi, Bob. Bob. Hi, Bob. Are you coming to help us, Bob? No, Dizzy. I'm putting in a new oven at Mr. Sabatini's Pizza Shop. Oh, lucky you. Mr. Sabatini makes the best pizzas in town. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can. can! Yes, uh, I think so. Hello, Mr. Sabatini. Ah, uh, Bob, it's uh, good to see you. Uh, um, it's good to see you, too. Has your new pizza oven been delivered? Yeah, it's a here, Bob. It has a conveyor belt that carries the pizza through the oven. Oh, very clever, Mr. Sabatini. All right, I'll get to work. And I'll make it a pizza, so we're going to try the oven out. Wow. Morning, everyone. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Bentley. Bentley. Hi. 
Here are the plans for the bicycle lane. This is such a busy road, I think we're going to have to stop the traffic with these signs. I'll stand at one end of the road, and you can stand at the other. <laughs> but if I help you, Mr. Bentley, who's going to build the bicycle lane? Ah, you have a good point there. I'll help you, Mr. Bentley. Ah, yes, thank you, Spud. But uh, I'm not sure you're right for the job. We can't have any fooling around. Oh, but I'll be really good. I, I promise, Wendy. Oh, all right. You're going to need this walkie-talkie, too. <gasps> wow! A talkie-walkie! Hello, this is Spud speaking and walking while I talk. <laughs> Okay, Spud, it's your job to stand here and stop any vehicles that come along. Calling all crows! Calling all crows! Keep out of Farmer Pickle's field! <laughs> then you call me on the walkie-talkie to see if the road is clear. Calling Farmer Pickles! I want apple pie for dinner! <laughs> if it is, you turn your sign to green and then let the traffic proceed. Did you understand that, Spud? Huh? Uh, uh, oh, yes, yes, of course I did, Mr. Bentley. Good. Good. I'll go and stand at my end of the road. Uh, Mr. Bentley? Yes, Spud? I, I forgot to say, Spud's on the job! <sighs> hmm. That's it, Mr. Sabatini. Your oven's all set. Oh, Bob, that's so fantastico! I've got lots of orders for my pizza. Great. Let's try the oven and check that it's working right. Hmm. Looks a little slow. Oh, it's so all burnt! Don't worry, I just have to speed up the conveyor belt. That's right, Muck. You dig up the side of the road. Uh, should I start mixing, Wendy? Hang on, Dizzy. I have to add this green dye to the cement. There we are. Okay, Dizzy. Start mixing. Why does the bicycle lane have to be green, Wendy? So cyclists know where it's safe to ride, Roly. Okay, we're gonna need some white paint for the line marking machine. Lofty, can you go and get some? Uh, yeah, I think so, Wendy. Calling Farmer Pickles. I'd like some ice cream with my apple pie. Hey, Lofty, come back! Come back! Oh! Okay, from now on, nobody gets past Spot the Traffic Stuffer! Try it now, Mr. Sabatini. I'll well, just answer that, Bob. It's probably another order. Aha! Success! Oh, Bob! It's a disaster! Oh, I thought the pizza looked very nice. The pizza is a fabulous, Bob. That's not the disaster. My delivery man has a call to say he's not feeling well. How am I going to deliver my pizzas? Don't worry, Mr. Sabatini. Scoop's outside. We'll deliver the pizzas for you. <gasps> Magnifico, Bob! You have saved the day. Oh. Uh, it's no problem, Mr. Sabatini. I'll get the right to work of making the pizzas. I'll give you a hand, Mr. Sabatini. Uh -oh. Oh. <laughs> I think you should just deliver the pizzas, Bob. Stop right there, Travis. Hello, Spud. What are you doing? Mr. Bentley has told me that I have to stop traffic. Oh, but Farmer Pickles asked me to take these lettuces to the market. Sorry, Travis. I can't let you go. Otherwise, I will lose my job. Oh, uh, how come you've stopped, Travis? Spud says we have to wait, Lofty. Oh, uh, really? Okay, the customers' names are written on the top of the boxes, Bob. Try to be quick so the pieces are still hot. Okay, Mr. Sabatini. Can we deliver them? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Only one more to deliver, Scoop. A cheese and tomato thick crust pizza for Mr. Fothergill. We'd better hurry up and get it to him while it's still hot. No prob, Bob. Can we use the line marking machine now, Wendy? Yes. As soon as Lofty gets back with the paint, I wonder what's holding him up. Oh, no. Look, Bob. It's a traffic jam. I'd better go and see what the problem is. Hello, everybody. What's going on? Oh, uh... It's Spud. He's holding up the traffic. It's my new job. I'm a traffic stopper. Oh, Spud, 
You're supposed to use your walkie-talkie to call the person at the other end. If the way is clear, then you let the traffic through. Oh, so that's what Mr. Bentley was talking about. Mr. Bentley? Mr. Bentley? Spot calling Mr. Bentley on the walkie-talkie. Mr. Bentley, is the road clear? Oh, yes, it is, bud. There hasn't been any traffic all morning. Okay, you can all go now. At last. Oh, that pizza smells yummy, Bob. Can I have a slice? Sorry, Spud. This is for Mr. Fothergill. Oh, being a traffic stopper makes me hungry. I wish this was a big lollipop. Sorry, can't stop. We have a pizza to deliver. Mmm. Oh, it smells delicious. Here's your pizza, Mr. Fothergill. Oh, excuse me. No, it's it's not for me, Bob. I'm allergic to pizzas. No, no, it's for my parrot, Hamish. He loves them. Pizza, pizza. I hope it's still hot. I got here as fast as I could. Oh, don't worry, Bob. Excuse me. Hamish likes his pizzas cold. <laughs> oh, dear. Hamish the pizza parrot. Pizza parrot. Oh, pizza parrot. Mr. Sabatini, it's Bob. Oh. Scoop and I have delivered all the pizzas. Simo Bob, come back to the shop, and I will give you as much a pizza as you can eat. That'd be great. Um, I guess you don't have any with apples or radishes or jam. The bicycle ain't finished, Wendy. It looks great, Mark. All we need now is a bicycle to try it out. <laughs> I think I can help you with that, Wendy. <laughs> One scooter, all set. Very practical, Mr. Bentley. Oh, yes, Wendy. See you soon, everybody. Bye, Mr. Bentley. I'm glad you finished, Wendy, because I've brought lunch. Oh, that's great, Bob. A pineapple and corn pizza for Wendy, a mushroom and onion deep pan for me, and one for Spud, too. It has apple, radishes, and jam on it. Oh, yes. The Spud special, my favorite. Thanks, Bob. Oh, delicious. <laughs> All right, Bob. We're going to Mr. Beasley's to build him a new garden wall. Okay, Wendy. Now, did you put your list of jobs into the personal organizer I bought you? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Uh-huh. Job number one, attach the new litter can. Um, job number two, fix up Mrs. Broadbent's gutters. Um, are you sure you know how to work it, Bob? Don't worry, Wendy. It's all under control. Oh. <laughs> See you later. Okay, team, let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, we can! Bob the Builder! Whoops. <laughs> oh, my. Bob the Builder! Oh, hello, Mrs. Potts. Well, we do have a few jobs today. No problem. I'll come over as soon as I can. All right, Scoop. Mrs. Potts wants us to see her when we're done with the other jobs. I better put it in my organizer so I don't forget. Um... Oh, no. The screen's gone blank. Oh. How do these things work? Oh, no. How are you going to remember all your jobs now, Bob? Why don't you call Wendy? Uh, um, no. I don't need to do that, Scoop. I know. I'll tie a knot in my hanky to remind me of each job. That's a good idea. First knot, litter can. Second knot, Mrs. Broadbent. Third knot, Mrs. Potts. Oh. Look, Scoop, there's another knot here already. What's that for? Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> oh, well, we better get to work. Okay, Bob, first knot, here we come. All right, Scoop, this shouldn't take too long. But which lamppost are we supposed to attach it to, Bob? I don't know. The directions are in the organizer. Oh, no! Look, don't worry, I think I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, no, no, that's not, no, no. Uh, here it is. It's the fourth lamppost down. All right, let's get started. Uh, 
Oh. Hello, Mr. Beasley. Oh, hello, Wendy. Oh, very good. The bricks for my new wall. Oh, what a lovely color. It's called rhubarb red, you know. Oh, wow, is it? Oh, what are you going to do with that string and tape measure, Wendy? Well, I'm going to mark out where the wall will go. Can I help? Hold on to that, Mr. Beasley. Okie dokie, Wendy. Oh, oh my. Come back here. Hey, <laughs> that should do it. <laughs> Uh, uh, sorry, Wendy. There, finished. Now, whose gutters need to be cleaned? Mrs. Broadbent's or Mrs. Ponce? Scoop, can you remember? It's Mrs. Broadbent's gutters that need cleaning. Uh, no, no, maybe it's Mrs. Ponce. No, no. I can't remember, Bob. Why, why don't you call Wendy and ask her? Good idea, Scoop. Oh, no, I can't. I'll have to tell her my organizer is broken. Wendy won't mind, Bob. The thing is, Scoop, it's embarrassing. I'm terrible with computer stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. So what are we gonna do, Bob? Don't worry. I'm sure it's Mrs. Potts gutters that need cleaning. Come on. It's kind of a mess up here, Scoop. Yuck. Yeah. Um, Bob, what are you doing to my gutter? Clearing it out. Oh. Oh, no. Do you mean to say it's not your gutters that need to be fixed? No, Bob, it's my gnome. My little nephew kicked it with his ball when he was playing football. Poor old Nelson's fishing rod needs to be glued back mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. What are you doing now, Wendy? Well, I'm just checking the bricks here with my level. You see, if they're straight, you can see a little bubble right there. Oh, so you can't... Oh, my glasses! To the left, to the left, Mr. Beasley! There they are! Thank you, Dizzy! No, oh, I can't see anything! Here, let me clean them for you. Um, Mr. Beasley, huh? what are you doing? Just making sure the wall is straight. That's, uh, not the wall. It's muck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Beasley! <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> so it is. Uh, sorry. There. Nelson's as good as new. Oh, thank you, Bob. He just wasn't the same without his rod. I've still got two knots left. One is to remind me to clean Mrs. Broadbent's gutters. But what's the other one for, Bob? Um, I'm sure I'll remember. Oh, well. On to the next job, Scoop. Almost finished. Wow! Just one more brick to go. Oh, oh could I do the last one, Wendy? Oh, um, well, okay. Oh, no. I can't look. Uh. Careful! Uh, I did it! Oh, Hooray! Hooray! Good, good job, everybody! Oh, I better give Bob a call and find out how he's doing. I'm glad Mrs. Bob Bed had this peg for my dolls. This stuff really smells. You could say that again, Bob. <laughs> oh, very funny, Scope. Uh, Bob the Builder. Oh, that's better. Bob the Builder. Oh, hello, Wendy. We're all finished here, Bob. How are you doing? Fine. Um, We'll see you back at the yard very soon. How did things go with your organizer? Oh, um, no problem, Wendy. I think I've got it figured out now. That's great. See you later. Bye, Wendy. Oh, no. What's wrong, Bob? The gutter's still blocked. Why is that, Bob? I need to clean the drain pipe out, too. How are you going to do that, Bob? With this. This should do it. Let's see if that's done the trick. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> that's cleared it. <laughs> oh, yes. 
You're right about that, Scoop. Come on, let's get back to the yard so I can wash this mud off. Hi, everybody. Hello. Oh, what happened to your face, Bob? I had uh, a little accident with a drain pipe. <laughs> oh, dear. Here, let me wipe it off for you. Bob, you've got a knot tied in your hanky. I know, Wendy. It was to remind me to do something, but I can't remember what. Maybe it was to remind you to get some new batteries for your organizer. Batteries? Of course! So that's why your organizer wouldn't work, Bob. The batteries ran out. But I thought you said it was working fine. Um, oh, uh, well, you know how terrible I am with computers and things. And I thought you'd laugh at me if... <laughs> oh, honestly, Bob. Here. Give me your hanky. It's okay, Wendy. I know what's wrong with my organizer now. Oh, I'm not going to tie a knot in it. <laughs> There's dirt on your face. Oh, Wendy. What would I do without you? 